So when it comes to landing, the most important thing we need to know is that the jump is always going to be measured from the closest distance into the sand. That means our main aim of the long jump is to have a nice tidy landing where we don't fall backwards in the sand and scoop up the sand behind us. We need to understand the flight curve of the jump. So as we take off from takeoff board, we're going to go up, we're going to reach the peak of our jump, and then we're going to start to come down to land in the sand. And when we're landing, our aim should be to put our feet on the line of this jump. So often we see with our younger athletes that just before landing, they stick their feet out into the sand as far as they can. And you see how this causes their body to lean back and their feet to land ahead of the flight curve. That means we're going to land our hips in the sand and we're going to make a big mark further back than we needed to. If we follow the flight curve, as we take off, we're going to go up and up and up, and then we're going to land down into the sand. This is the perfect place to put our feet. The slower we're going, the higher that flight curve is going to be. So our younger athletes should put their feet only just ahead of their center of mass, and then they're going to land into that hole. As our jumps get longer, as our athletes become more experienced, that flight curve becomes shallower as the takeoff angle comes down with more speed. And it's at this point that we need to create this bigger leg shoot because we're coming in at that shallower angle. So the main aim to begin with is to learn to understand the flight curve, to land in a nice balanced position with a tidy foot landing. So now that we understand our flight path and how to position our feet on landing, we need to make sure that we're balanced in the air so that we don't have this forward rotation that causes us to drop our feet early or this backwards rotation that causes us to land on our bum in the sand. So to start with, we go back to our trunk position and at our takeoff, we should be in this nice tall position, chest and chin elevated to create that extension. And this is a position we're looking to hold in the air. Our body should be until the peak of our flight curve in this upright trunk position. Now to time the landing, we want to have our arms taking a long sweep over our body and as they reach the front, they'll come together with the knees ready to land. So our takeoff should be this long takeoff with a driving knee, driving arm, and in the air, we're going to reach everything up as high as we can and then time the landing with our arms and feet together. So when we combine this balanced flight and our tidy landing in the sand with our takeoff, this gives us a very basic long jump technique. We have our one, two takeoff through to a high knee, our trunk is upright, arms sweep over our head, and they join together ahead of the body in the sand. 